Here are the backs and receivers, brought to you by your Metro Detroit Ford dealers for Northern Illinois, Phil Horvath, the aforementioned Garrett Wolf, Davis, Carter, and Perez, the wideouts, and a very good tight end, Jake Nordine up front, Doug Free, 6-7. They call him Doug Freak, leading the <laughs> offensive line for Northern Illinois. And to put it simply, he's a man on the football field, and he just showed you an example of that. They run to Garrett Wolf. He's got room up the middle. Wolf in the open field, 30, 25, 20. Garrett Wolf to the end zone. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. No flags on that one. These six points are going to count for the Huskies. And just the speed of Garrett Wolf, he made uh, Marcus McClure, the free safety, look like he was standing still. Beautiful job by the offensive line. This offensive line is absolutely amazing. It's the pull right here. Watch these guys come over and seal the lane for Garrett Wolf. Absolutely untouched. And again, just watching number 23, McClure, not barely even get into your picture and have a shot at Britt and then uh, let the rest of the guys roll on through, including Brian Haynes, to make that tackle. Horvath gives off to Garrett Wolf into the secondary, and Wolf is out near the first down stick, and he should have it. He makes it look so easy, does Garrett Wolf. But right now the, uh, the rain is coming down pretty hard here on the field. It looks like uh, we may have had a lightning strike. Is that possibly what's going on? Well, if that's the case, then it will be We are being told, you may have heard, the game is suspended. Rob. Now, with a lightning strike, it's certainly 30 minutes after that strike this looks was recorded. like more than a lightning yes, strike to me. They've it does. Got people, they're actually clearing the stands and the press box here. Game has been suspended, we have been told. This kid's amazing. He's run for over 170 yards in seven consecutive contests. Check that eight carries, 80 yards. This is number nine, and Garrett Wolf with a first down, a big chunk of yardage right there. 17 yards on the carry for Garrett Wolf. And he doesn't just do it against the little sisters of the poor. When Garrett Wolf got Michigan for 148 yards on 17 carries and a 76 yard touchdown run, that was the game to me that really put this young man on the college football map. He's got it again, he's got room, he's yanked down, Booker got him. Maybe showing younger brother Britt how it's done. Brandon's 22, Britt is 20. And just the second catch of the season. Here goes Garrett Wolf. He's got a block inside the five, puts his head down, and he's taken down at the two-yard line. First and goal. See the tough yards there, Ben? I mean, you look at this guy, and he's, you know, physically he's not much, but call it a completion. It results in this. Third down and three. Huskies are four of four, and Garrett Wolf gets it. They string him out, but Wolf's got sprinter speed to the 20, spins, and he's taken down, and Garrett Wolf will have the first down for Northern Illinois on his 15th carry of the night. That is just what you get from Garrett Wolf. Watch, he is absolutely trapped here on the outside. I mean, the defenders have a much better angle. First two games were very productive of the season for Laramore, three tackles against Eastern Michigan, four against Indiana, making an impression here, Wolf, Trying to get free, and he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. First down and 10 from the 48 of Ball State. Wolf, left side, finds some room using that speed. Garrett Wolf to the outside, trying to outrun McClure. Wolf did it once, can he do it again? Cuts back, touchdown, Garrett Wolf, his second of the night. This one from 48 yards. And for the second straight big carry, he just runs past Marcus McClure. Look at a great job, that's a beautiful cut right there. And right here, there are three separate Cardinals that have an angle. I think those are the two greatest inventions known to mankind. You put that above the wheel? Baby, listen, you don't need a wheel <laughs> if you can sit and watch on demand. Here goes Garrett Wolf. he's got blockers, 35, 40. He's still on his feet down the sideline. Go Wolf gets another block, he cuts it back across the grain. Garrett Wolf inside the 15-yard line. A huge run. He is well over 200 yards now. Look at the offensive line. I mean, just look at the absolute huge hole. And how about the downfield blocking? You've got all sorts of them. Jarrett Carter is down there. Beautiful block by Ryan Gierke at the end. And this just young kid, his vision is amazing. Only eight guys in the history of NCAA football have gotten to 1,000 yards in five games. Garrett Wolf just became the eighth one to do it. 249 on the ground. Wolf looking to add to it. 
And he's out to the 25. How's that? He even has time while he's running to adjust his face mask and then decide where he wants to go. Wolf, the single setback. They don't believe in a fullback in DeKalb, Illinois. Garrett Wolf gets it again, makes a move, made a defender look silly there, gets around another. Here goes Garrett Wolf once again, his third rushing touchdown in this football game. He continues to amaze and excite. He is over 300 yards. You'd be able to knock this guy down by just breathing in him hard. Look at that move right there. And then getting around Eric Keyes. Are you kidding me? Eric Keyes knocks people out when he hits them. A beautiful run, 315 yards and three TDs on 24 carries. Garrett Wolf, 24 rushes, 315 yards and three touchdowns. Wolf now with 50 career touchdowns at Northern. Go ahead, Rob. Well, I, I just. I just can't believe that I just saw him totally juke. Ball is at the 49-yard line. Wolf gets it right up the middle. Garrett Wolf still on his feet. Keys got him. He is Jeez, very Keys close. Keys almost pulls him to the first down. And Rob, marker. looking at the spot right across from where I'm seeing it. They're going to measure this. I think he's got it. Clock is running. <laughs> Garrett Wolf. Who'd have seen that one and coming? And he gets a block. Wolf down inside the 25, taken down from behind by Wendell Brown at the 19-yard line. The numbers continue to grow, and Wolf slow to get up, trying to get the turf out of the face mask there. And he is coming out of the game right now. Anderson is coming in. Garrett Wolf. And the NIU faithful who are still here at uh, Schumann Stadium, standing ovation for that young man. Well, they should. 353 yards on the ground for the nation's leading rusher. Is he a Heisman Trophy candidate? <laughs> you bet he is. <laughs> I, I don't care what conference he's Listen, in. And there is, well, you call him Mr. Wolf for sure. Mm -hmm. 31 rushes, 353, 11 to a pop three touchdowns with a 75 yard run. He said there wasn't a more disappointed guy on our team. Not that other guys weren't disappointed. And how's that for an exclamation <laughs> point? Just, <laughs> end on a defensive play. That's, that's almost just the last thing we needed for this one. But to finish that thought, he said Garrett Wolf is more disappointed than anybody. Tonight, Northern Illinois comes to town. The Huskies, well, their bark was large, especially from their star tailback who is now a legitimate Heisman Trophy candidate. I don't care what you say, Garrett Wolf is the most amazing player I've ever had the opportunity to see in person. 31 carries, 353 yards, and three touchdowns.